In this lesson, we're going to take the time to review what we should already know, types and variables, as we're working in Java. So go ahead and get the project types and variables loaded up into your Eclipse IDE if you'd like to work along with me. We'll have just one class in this project, typesandvariables.java. And here we're going to review the different types and variables to use those types. Our first type is going to be a string, which of course is any text. We don't have to worry about the length. We can go up to a pretty long string. And we wrap that in double quotes. And then we have the type character, which is the fully boxed version with the capital C. And we'll use the primitive type char, or char, if we actually want to work with a single character. We wrap our single characters in the single quote, or the tick mark. And we'll see that as we use them in just a few minutes. There are a number of different numerical types that we can use, depending on the size of numbers we want to work with. The first type is a byte, and we can use that for any numbers from negative 128 to positive 127. A short will work for negative 32,768 to 32,767. And hopefully you're recognizing that these are just binary numbers. Because we have two to the power of something, that's how each of these types will give us the ability to store a different range of numbers. As we use more bytes, we can store larger numbers. So we have the integer with the primitive type int that we'll use. And that one goes from negative 2 to the 32nd to 2 to the 32nd minus 1. About negative 2 billion to positive 2 billion. We then have the long type. And again, we have the primitive type long with the small l. And that one 2 to the 64th to 2 to the 64th minus 1. We have the double and the floating point, which are single precision and double precision decimals. And one takes up 4 bytes of space, the other is 8 bytes of space. And we'll use their primitive types with the little f or the little d. And we have the type Boolean, which gives us the ability to do decision statements, true or false, represented by usually true or false, or sometimes we'll say 1 or 0. So those are the main types we'll encounter. Let's actually take a look at using some of them with variables. So here we have our string first name, or we'll call it f name, and that'll be James. And we'll see again, that's just a string in double quotes, with a char, middle init, and that is the t, and that's in single quotes, or the tick mark. And the middle init symbol, which is the period, also in single quotes, or tick mark. And note, of course, we can't have multiple characters. We couldn't do t dot here, because that would be two characters. And then we have a string last name Kirk. So James T. Kirk, captain of the Starship Enterprise. We'll store his age, 32, at the start of the five-year mission in a byte, since 32 is in our byte range. And we'll have a number of Klingon ships encountered to be 358, which works great as a short. We'll say the Enterprise, as a team, discovered the number of planets of 127649, which is a good number to store in an integer. And we have our long type for whole kilometers traveled to be over 10 billion, which needs to be a long since we can't go past 2 billion with an integer. Now I want to note that we use the L to signify that this is a long. And if we take that off, the compiler will give us an error saying that that is too big to be a single integer. So we tell the compiler that's a long by placing an L behind it. And also you could use a small L, but please note that using a small L, of course, looks a lot like a 1. So it's probably a better idea to use a capital L in this situation. And our float number of hours of service is going to be one decimal place. And again, we can use capital F or small f here. Either one is just fine. And our double is going to be the cost of the mission, which is just a ridiculously large number with two decimal places for dollar amounts. We don't need to put a D after the double. And our mission success boolean will report that it was true. Finally, we'll use all of these variables in a simple string using a string format. And remember that percent %s represents a string. Percent %d is going to be any numerical type, byte, short, int, or long. And then percent dot whatever decimals that we'd like, and f for our floating point or doubles. Here we'll have one decimal point, that will be our float, and here we'll have two decimal places and our double. And we'll put a dollar sign in front of it just to show how we'd format currency. And booleans are going to be replaced with percent %b. Slash n, of course, is a new line. And we don't have any of these in this statement, but slash t would be a tab character should we want to use that. So let's go ahead and run this and see all of our variables and types in action. And there we see Captain James T. Kirk, age 32, spent five years in space. During this time, the Enterprise encountered 358 Klingon ships of various types and classification. And you can read through the rest of the statement on your own to see how the variables were replaced into that string as we formatted it for output. That wraps up our quick review of types and variables in Java.